God be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Even in our military training, we try to learn in the arts of war is how to get into the head of the person that you've, you're confronting. Mm -hmm. Even in politics, it's all about trying to get into your head. Mm -hmm. they, and, and when it's obvious that they can lie to you, then the person is drawn away and, 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 and get off, off focus on what is the principal things. But here we're talking about is that most people are drawn back to uh, their way of living be, when the word is confronted. And Brother Addison, what we saw there when you talked about most people uh, get clarity is because they no longer allow the cares of this world. Matter of fact, if you think about it, this, this is Brother Addison, uh, Brother Jackson, when he was talking about when he had the heart congestion thing, was that uh, the man who gave him was a time limit. You remember that, Brother Addison? He, he gave you time. And, and if you think about the scripture we just read, <laughs> take no thought for tomorrow. <laughs> mm -hmm. the, man, the man is essentially cut off telling you, you don't need to worry about tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I look at it, I look at it somewhat like this. Well, I think in, in Brother Addison's situation, and you know, obviously, my friend, I can't speak for you. <laughs> but the thing is, is he was his 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 heart was right. was fertile, right? Right. His his okay. That's that's the way I see it. When, if we're using the parable, I see that where hey, his was his was on fertile ground, okay. and so at the time that he got into that situation, yes, sir. Um, he was ready. And, 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 and certainly that clarity was there because there are other individuals who likewise find themselves in those situations. And that's not, that's not what they, it can be as clear as day to yeah. those of us who believe, right. but they're not, they're not turning to God. Right. Matter of fact, they may, they may, may, may be cursing God yes, sir. because they are in that situation. So right. those are the individuals, individuals who, who I consider would be on that stony ground or even by the wayside. You know, you by the wayside to me when it because when it first starts out, you you don't even care, man. I, God, <laughs> that's that's not even on my on my radar. Okay, okay, right? okay. But you have those that do hear the word, and like it says, hey, they immediately receive it with gladness, it's because hey, yeah, because you know it sounds good. It's like the motivational speaker that that's got some good stuff. That, yeah, I can use that. That sounds good. Right. But as soon as the challenge comes your way, oh, it's hold up, no, I ain't I ain't really with that. Right. You know what I mean? And they yeah. become offended. But I see where Brother Addison's situation, <clears throat> whereas his, his he was ready for it. Um, I don't necessarily know, obviously, all of the factors, but that's how I see. Well, you know, well, because again, everybody yeah. doesn't that hears the word doesn't respond the same way. Some people just you hear it, you 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 reject it or you hear it, you stick with it for a minute. And because, hey, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm more focused on what's happening in the world. Uh, you know, that's they just they're just not ready for it. Right. But what I was looking at the fact is, and I I totally agree with you. I, I was looking at as uh, as believers. Yes. Daily, you have distractors. Right. Okay. You have distractors. Okay. You have things that okay. I'm living by the word of God, but I'm also being distracted by the cares of this world. Um, right. The, the, the thoughts of tomorrow. Uh, I'm saying that those are things that try to choke the word, right? Right. When, 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 when I'm just using his scenario, and you jump in and tell you what, but his but this scenario is, hey, I, I, somebody just told me don't even focus on tomorrow. Somebody's telling me I don't even have tomorrow. And I, I to, to deal with tomorrow, I need to deal with today. So therefore, I'm zooming in on the kingdom on the word to 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 give me that strength give me that energy give me that source of living beyond tomorrow right and i'm saying is mm -hmm. as, as believers to tie in with that i'm saying is if we live daily seeking and living in the kingdom living mm -hmm. in the word of god then it, it is that's what we draw strength from 
And the Bible, when that scripture was talking about earlier, it says, sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof, daily. Mm -hmm. we, we need to have this, this, this armor on, this word on, this source on, this living by, ready to go for the battles that we have in front of us today. Amen. That's what, that's what I'm trying to say. We live by that, and because we have this enemy that's confronting us and confronting the people you go. I'm the thinking about the people you're going to minister to as well, right? You, you got to say, what are they? If you think about it, the people that we come in contact with, the people that God will send to you to minister to, they are dealing with something today that is choking and attacking the word of God in their life today. Right. And they need they need that word of encouragement. Uh they need that that to that, that, that see from your testimony how to get through this thing. That's a, I think that's why he said we overcome the devil, right? By the word of our mouth, by the word of the by the blood of the Lamb, by the words of our testimony. It's the word of God, living it day by day, walking by faith, not by sight. Living, I think, in fact, is if you dwell in the kingdom. I think that's why he says, seek ye first. And that's why we talked Thursday when he gave us the Lord's Prayer. He said, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But in one piece, it says, Give us this day. Mm -hmm. Not, not, he said, in that scripture we were read earlier. He said, don't take no thought for tomorrow. <laughs> because as far as concerns and worry, God is going to take care of you just like he take, he take care of the grass and the field, just like he takes care of the, the, the birds of the air. He said, are we, you know, are we just as more precious than those things? So he wants us not to get caught into what that these tools the, animal, the enemy comes up with that, that tries to take the word out of our hearts. And he comes, and look, I think the scripture said in that parable, he comes what, brother? He comes immediately. Mm -hmm. And if, you know, you think about it, if we're supposed to live by faith, and we just, and you use, and I, those don't know, I like the part about subject to live by faith, live by the word. This guy is trying to stop us <laughs> from, from the word of God daily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I need food. Didn't think about somebody trying to take you. Hey, brother Elder Johnson, didn't think about it. What if somebody trying to take your food? <laughs> somebody trying to take your food yeah, every mama, day. <laughs> I think as we grow in the spirit, our food, our food does become the word of God. Yeah. Jesus told him, my meat is to do my father's will. Woo! So there's a transition that takes place Woo. from the time we're born and we're born again. There's things that sustain us in our flesh that literally kills us in our spirit. Yeah. Soul to the flesh is corrupt, and you soul to the flesh should be corrupt, and you soul to the spirit. So the spirit is life everlasting. So for us, a day without the word, I think, is worse than going without food. I mean, yeah. we, get, we, we encourage the fast from natural food, but we are encouraged also to consume the word. Right. Who is the Lord Jesus Christ is in my, yeah. my flesh. And my blood, is, my flesh is meat and deep. And my <laughs> blood is drinking deep. Come on. We got to consume the man. Right. Our word is spirit in their life. So the more we get that word in us, the more we get Jesus' spirit in us. Yes, Cognitively. Sir. You know, yes, sir. Psychologically hey. and spiritually, you're right there with us. Hey, did y'all notice that uh, we have we have been successful, the devil's been successful and 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 trying to get us to to maneuver away from the word of God in Amen, our day to day man. conversations. You know, you remember Brother Asher, the words that the, the Bible thump it. Don't, you know, you, you, man, don't bring this word in here, right? There, there's people that say, I don't, I don't, don't want to hear that. But for us to really yield to that is to say, I'm, I, I don't want you to tell me about what you're living about, living off of. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want you. I, I don't want. I don't want to hear. I don't want to hear about. It's almost like I don't want to hear about the food you need to eat to, to survive. You're exactly right. 
you know, we we need to let people as we walk our walk and say, look, babe, I ain't saying this for you. I'm saying this for me. I, I'm talking the word for me. I'm trying to keep it in my mind, in my heart. That's what I'm saying it for. You just you just getting the overflow of what I'm trying to talk about. You know what I mean? Because that's what I mean. My mom would sit there and want to say, I'm using an example. My mom liked to say, when she used to answer the phone, uh, this is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. And, and lately, she has stopped answering the phone unless she knows who's on the phone of saying that that greeting. You know what I mean? So in other words, she'll say hello, right? Because she mm -hmm. said the person, if they heard that greeting, Brother Jackson, they, they she said they hang up. Uh huh. So for her, for them to keep from hanging up, she stopped saying it. <laughs> And, and mm -hmm. you, you got to think about it. Hang up there. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Obviously, that's somebody you want to talk to. Right? <laughs> right. right. In other right. words, we're not trying to do it, babe. I think some of the stuff we think, I used to think sometimes was they're saying all these cliches. It's just, it just, just Bible talking. You know, yeah. you talk about the old saints and stuff like that. Well, it used to be it, for well, me. Yeah, if if that's it, go ahead. Tell me about it. Why they, was it used to be? They they used to be because the word was not in yeah. my heart. They were yeah. just sayings. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And those sayings. sayings that there, there was no no roots to those sayings. Okay, come on. Come you on. know, uh, <laughs> they were they were fruits that weren't grown on my tree. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so they were just they were you know fruits that somebody wow. else grew that may have meant something to them. Yeah. But, you, you know, they shared that fruit. Yeah. So they really had no no real uh, they weren't a part of my arm. Yes. They were a part of someone else's arm. Right? Yes, sir. Yeah, we're talking. Yeah. So, so they, they didn't have the authority or the power yeah. or the connection to God yeah. behind it. Right. So right. now these now. things are 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 they're real to me. Yes, sir. You know, and when I it, it, and if I say it to be saying it, it's because it's real. To you now. Right. You know, uh like the uh the peace that surpasses all understanding, guard your heart oh. and mind. Come on. Through Christ. That's that's real. Yeah. That yeah. is real. So even no. in the midst of trials and tribulations, uh, even when uh, a loved one is lost, there is a peace yes. that yes. surpasses all understanding. Yes. And, and it actually guards your heart and mind through Christ Jesus. Jesus. You know, uh, you know greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Yeah. You know, no weapon formed against me shall yeah. prosper. Come on, come on, come on, you hear all these things. Yeah. And and before, yes. I, oh, I would say it. Yeah. But there was no power behind it. Yeah. There was and, no authority in it. There was no buy-in. Yeah. Or or I, I don't know. <coughs> there, there's a, there's there, a there was, source there was that no comes experience. along with it now. Yeah. There's yeah. No, no, there no experience to validate the conversation. Yes. You're just yes. saying words. I once was yes. young, but now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous for taking or the seed begging bread. That's yes. testimony now. Yes, that testimony. used to be some words I hope were real. Now it's words I can tell you that yeah. that's really real because I don't live that. Yeah. And, and, and that's one of the beautiful things of walking with Christ is that over a period of time, the word itself began to manifest itself in our lives. Yeah. Those old folk knew it was true when they told they, it to us. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> they, 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 they were speaking with, they were powering them because they that's had to live it out. It's like, man. Yeah. And then we get in that place, and it's like, man, this stuff is really real. You yeah. said, I want to pray more now than I ever did when I was a young man with Prince. Right. Was, it was nice word to him, but I was, hey, man, I, I, we, we'll pray about that later. Let's go do something. Yeah, like, yeah, man, yeah. if you had prayed up front, you went, went off the, the, the errors that you made, you could have saved some energy. And when you get old, you ain't got a lot of energy to spend. So now you want to pray to get stuff done. It means the word has been real ever since we came to this planet. So, so that, don't. But don't, now it's real to me. Yeah, so those old saints, they had it right. Yeah, they did. It, it, what, what was failed to do is to pass it on 
to pass it on to the to the next generation to say, look, this is not just this is not just a cliche. Let me ask you. This is my life. You know the, the one scripture, and I used to kind of get upset about this. It bigoted in a sense. You know, our our, our black, our older people pay respect to our white brothers. Back in the day when they were Jim Crow and you know all the segregation and stuff like that, they they literally purposefully and with no, you know, no no resistance called them sir and ma'am and and you're looking at that and you're like why are they call them sir and ma'am as low down and even as they are right. But they were following the principle that God set for years and years and years ago. Okay. I mean, okay. from the beginning, love your enemy. Okay. Bless them that curse you. Woo! Pray for them that despite the use you persecute you. If the enemy <laughs> thirst, give him the drink. Woo! If he hunger, feed him. Would it be so do it be like even coals of fire on his head? So they were following the principles, and we called them Uncle Tom's and Mammies and all kind of stuff. But everything that they were doing was in alignment with the spirit of God. And we saw the positive impact of it in our own lives. Wow. We benefited from what they were doing. The word says that the seed of the wicked will not inherit. Mm. So God had the other portion taken care of. If they fulfilled their portion, the blessings were in our way. Wow. Blessings were waiting for us to catch up to them. Those people secured great blessings for us in doing things that we disdained. Interesting. Respecting people that dishonored them. Loving folk that hated them, praying for people that mistreated them, despite they used them and persecuted them. Yeah, we need that blessing. We are the recipients of what they gain through those through that obedience to God. Well, you know that's that's interesting because you remember hey, this has happened. I think even in the last ten years, remember when people was trying to uh, complain when the the the, uh, the guard gates would say, "Have hey, what a blessed day," or. Uh, uh, you remember that, brother? Yeah. Bless, have a blessed day. That's what have, they were saying. And I and I have I know that I remember I used to say, uh, "Be blessed" or or, or something, and, and and that nature. And the person I know I'm blessed. And I'm back. I'm frozen here. Can y'all see me? I can. I'm frozen. I'm frozen. My ear. But uh, I saw. I, I used to say, "Bless," and the person get offended. Hmm. And and brother Jacks, I think they was getting offended because you were really speaking, even though you weren't even giving the whole gospel, you but you were saying some version, you some aspect of it, right? Mm -hmm. Even the part about bless those who who persecute you, right? Uh, yeah. But just saying, be blessed, God bless, yeah, you know, yeah. and they get offended. That's the, well, to me, that's the enemy trying to deter you from just doing something that is like, hey, this is not illegal. This is not telling me, I'm not trying to get you saved. I want you, I mean, at least I'm on the job I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying, I'm not trying to Bible thump you. I'm saying this is just how I am. And I think that's what we need. If, if, we, if this is how we're supposed to live, then maybe we should go ahead and give a word of encouragement whether the person want to receive it or not, because it's how you live. That those old saints were saying those words because it meant something to them. They had to go through things, you know? Matter of fact, even with Brother Asher going through that, that, that heart thing, hey, to say, hey, be blessed, is because I'm blessed and I'm glad I'm here. Man, this is great, man. How does it align with when he says, if you are ashamed to profess me before men? I'll be ashamed of professing you before my father in the, in the heavenly angels. Yeah, that's, yeah, you that's know, true, ain't it? Yeah. I mean, are we Bible thumping or are we just being ourselves? Just being yourself. Right. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Live. Well, I didn't, I never seen uh, that scripture in, in, in God's word. Which one? Bible thumping. I know it. We, we, so I mean, know. does it, does it matter <laughs> if that's what we're called? We're all, 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 we got. I mean, they, they call they, they call Jesus some names, you know, uh, but he still went about doing his father's business. Come on now, come on. Yeah, but then, and, I, um, when we, you guys help me out with this one. It seems to me that when somebody calls somebody a Bible thumper, uh, it there typically is some aspect of of uh, contradiction in how they they live. Yeah, and how they're, they're doing the word. 
Okay. Um, that's what I've I've seen, my experience. You know, somebody can, you know, they have a Bible in their hand. And look, you know, just because you got some brand new thing and, you know, it's making you feel good. But again, you really have no root. You really haven't haven't uh, demonstrated in the, the, the totality of the way that you live your life, you know, what's going on. So you're coming at me with the Bible trying to tell me how to get my stuff straight. You know, that's where I, my, been my experience with, with uh, quote unquote Bible thumpers. But I okay. think somebody who is sincere um, with the word, yeah. you can tell, because I've been in situations where people said, look, man, you, we, uh, I, I remember when I was, <laughs> when I lived in, uh, in Kansas and I had folks that would say, look, we didn't invite you to such and such because of how you live, because of uh -huh. how you are. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And so it was demonstrated, you know, and, and I'm, that's not to be braggadocious or anything. It's no, no, just because, no. uh, you know, you think that was that was, you know, 20 years ago, plus tw 20 plus years ago. And I'm still growing, you know, today, right? Right. But people saw that. And to me, that's still uh, not invited. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you know, but, but but I but I understand that. And the thing is, is what that tells me is, is, is yes, you're right. Because um, uh, one is I would not have tolerated whatever was going on. Uh -huh. uh, and they would have either had the cease and desist or that they, they just would have been conflict. And I'm not talking about physical conflict. I'm just talking about, hey, I would have just had to tell you, you know, at least based on what the spirit would have put in my, in my mouth. Right. And what would have came out of my lips. They weren't, they didn't want to hear it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, uh, uh, but, you know, the thing about what you were saying, when somebody says, hey, you know, be blessed. And then I, if I were to come back to you, I already know I'm blessed. Well, see, that says something. There's something yeah. going on with my heart at that time. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. You know, they, they are offended by the word because, see, that was a sincere. Typically, that's sincere. That's, yeah. Right. Yeah. You, you, you know, we, we are sophisticated to kind of know if somebody's being sarcastic, being real, not being real. You know, so yeah. to me, when somebody comes back like that against the word of God, that's telling me this, this, this working in the spirit. It is. Something's happening. Yeah. They, may not have, they may not have responded in a way that, that was kind, uh -huh. but that spirit was there. Okay? Exactly. I will say this. Uh, there, there's been quite a few times when that was said to me, and I and I'd be like, oh yeah, I am. You know, <laughs> and, and it's and it's 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 uh an what? affirmation of that. Okay. And okay. it's not an attack back, you okay. know. So uh, I consider, you know, I know who I am in Christ. Right. And right. Uh, so sometimes it just comes out that way. Uh, not not the, the, to attack, yeah. you know. Right. Um, but to, to <laughs> give a response back, you know, because a lot of times, you know, I, I'm letting them know that it's received. Okay. <laughs> and that, yes, I am blessed. <laughs> but... So, you know, and, and 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 I hear what 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 uh brother Jackson is saying, and maybe maybe I do need to 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 think about that. But I mean, there's no malice in when I say it no, no, because but... there's a smile on my face because it makes me think about it. Yes, sir. And I'm like, oh yeah, yes, I am. Right. That question always been like, what's wrong with it? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, and and I do, and, and I say thank you, blessed. and you have, and you be blessed as well. You be well. blessed, yeah. Now, yeah. right, give, and it shall be given, right? Yeah. But I'm yeah. saying is that we are we taking out the, does the world try to take out take a take the vocabulary of Christ out of our mouth on our daily walk? Yeah. Well, it, it, it gets back to what what we were talking about a while ago. To when it just became it becomes a cliche, uh -huh. and uh, now the world is using it because they hear it a lot now. Be okay. blessed, uh -huh. you know, and so that's that is a a greeting or a departing sentiment, right? And so it's, it's become commonplace, and uh, maybe, you know, it's, and, maybe it's okay it's, though, right? It, it, it's okay, but you know sometimes. Uh, that I think that's why people take offense. Yeah, they take right. That's you know, the because right. they're, they're they're really not blessed, <laughs> you know, or they don't feel blessed. They don't know who they are, right? In Christ, so there it's 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 an attack to them. You yeah. know, it's an attack to any spirit that's not of the Lord. 
Yeah. I, I and I think that one the, for me is like that's one of the things where we kind of lose sight of it that we are engaged in warfare. Right. There's an opposing force out there that wants to thwart everything that is and that is of God. So when we go forward with things that are of God, we're going to meet some opposition. It might come from the very person that you're trying to minister to, but there's going to be some opposition. And I think what we have done up to this point, well, some of us anyway, or the enemy has. have actually compromised. Right. But I don't. Well, I'm not going to say that because they might get offended. Well, they might be offended. <laughs> they will get offended. If we're not in front of a bus. I go and snatch his arm off to get him out of the way. You know what I'm saying? And so we look at sin and, and Satan as being some kind of toys that, that people can play with and that there's not going to be any negative repercussion in it. So right. So we're going to be really gingerly go out and address them in their um, uh, their, 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 uh, their demise and their the imminent demise. Right. So come out of the street, please. You don't need to go that way, baby. No, you need to get the heck out of the street. You need to move <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and we don't care that much about them to do that. A lot of times, it's like we just don't want to be perceived as being, you know, Bible thumpers. We don't yeah. want to be perceived as being like holy rollers. You know, right. it's about how we look. Hey, no. It's about saving their soul. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, Elder, we, we don't want to fit. I mean, that goes back to that parable, the soul, right? And, and, and look, he said for, hey, Elder, you can read this for us real quick. I, I, I saw this scripture that lines up what we're talking about. Why we may pull back and why the enemy wants to pull us back because you said that you get offended by person, you know, we said you get offended, yeah. right? You, you got a hard heart, right? Look at the scripture right here for all believers to understand. Read that for us, Elder. <laughs> Check that out. This one started with the uh, subtitles, all scriptures breathed out of God, by God. But it's really 312 is what I want you to get to. But I think you should read from 10 to 17. <laughs> But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, and at Lystra. What persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. Uh-huh. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scripture, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, uh -huh. that the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. And all good. And you know, I like that that, that verse 10 that was interesting. That, that verse 10 says, Brother Jackson and Brother, Brother Isaac, but thou hast fully known my doctrine. And look at that piece right there. That kind of lies with, with a live manner of life mm -hmm. in other words this is my life this this doctrine is the manner of my life my being who i am right uh purpose faith long suffering charity patience but to live by faith and yes you're going to get persecution and yes we even see it even in we talked about it even in the uh uh, with the guards and the, the people made a complaint at the gate saying that I want them to say bless or have a blessed day. You know, and you're like, really? Is that a bad thing? But it, it, it became a matter of life for those people. We look and, at and the one that we follow.